Watch this. Y'all want me to pee myself? Look, officer! I, 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 I have to fucking ass up! Walmarts are known to occasionally welcome very strange customers. But what happens when officers are forced to deal with these types of people? Here are three of the most cringy customer moments. Starting with the arrest of Paula, who was a very terrible actor. I really can't breathe. I'm not joking. Why can't you breathe? I can't breathe because I'm having an anxiety attack. Okay. I'm not joking. On May 23rd, 2023, officers were called to a Florida Walmart concerning a woman who failed to scan items after passing all points of sale. Upon arrival, the officers began investigating the theft allegations, but the woman suddenly became hostile towards them. Ma'am, do you have your license on you? Yes. Can I have it? I rang up the wrong freaking vacuum, an unintentional mistake. I just spent $250 for $20. Getting the cops called on you isn't entirely fun for anybody and rolling your eyes or having a loud sigh is usually excusable, especially if you are innocent of the allegations. But the cops were just there to do their job, and they soon discovered that it was not going to be a pleasant day at the office. Where do you work at? I don't work, I'm stable. What were the items that weren't paid for? Where were you born for? Where were you born? I mean, where? Where at? What state? Uh, no, actually, hang on. Can I see that video one more time? And you're not free to leave. Oh my god, dude. I have a kid waiting for me. This, I just spent $250. I didn't do this intentional. I don't work here. I don't know how this shit works. I ran up the wrong vacuum. Oh my god, dude. 42 when I bought for her. Like, I'm gonna steal from the place my mouth fucking work. I will pay for it. I have the money to pay for it. I don't work here. I don't. An officer might detain a person because they suspect that an individual is committing, has committed, or is about to commit a crime. This enables them to investigate and determine whether they need to take further action or release the suspect. This suspect seemed highly agitated, and with the fear that she could release false self-incriminating evidence, the officers decided to Mirandize her. But instead of seeing this as a reminder of her rights, she somehow saw it as an attack. I'm gonna read you your rights, okay? I'm gonna ask you a question at the end. No, I just need you to ask. Listen. No, he's lying about okay. the shit that I that that. Okay. Listen, well, we're gonna ask you. Listen, I can't do this. What's her name? I, my kid. Where's your kid up? Paula. All right, Paula. I have done nothing. Paula, wait. Give me a second. Paula's come right back here. I'm just gonna read you your rights here. Going anywhere? Okay. Don't touch me, please. Please don't put your hands on me. I'm well, calling. Oh, right. What are you Stop talking about? This is all on video. Stop I'm not resisting. resisting. Stop okay, call a lawyer. I want That's a lawyer. Right. Call me a lawyer, please. Somebody call me a lawyer. I can't believe this is happening. You guys, I can't believe this is happening. This is a fucking accident. Are you kidding me right now? Stop turning towards us. You're not we tried to talk to you. you no, just walk you away. didn't. I didn't. I tried to call a lawyer, and I have that right. Yeah, that's a joke. Not right. Paula was among the few people who believed that being read her Miranda rights meant she was going to jail. The officers met her for reports of petite theft, and she was about to get a resisting charge. They found it strange that she was willing to take it this far, but they also knew that she had a way to salvage the situation. Paula's fear was going to jail, and although she was now under arrest, she didn't necessarily have to go to jail, as the officers could just write her a summons and release her immediately. For this to happen, though, Paula needed to cooperate with the cops and allow them to conduct their investigation, but instead, she ended up making them very uncomfortable. Can I please talk to you, please? Please, no, it's my kid's last day of school. Oh, I can't believe you guys are doing this to me. Do you see this? You're hurting me. Well, stand up straight. I can't. I have a bad back. I'm not even joking. I was just in an accident. Would you please stop? You're fucking hurting me. I'm not joking. Stop. You're fucking hurting me badly. Oh, 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 oh,
you. Liv, you're making me do this. You're making me feel like this. It was a fucking accident, I swear to God. Why would I spend $250? Paula complained throughout the five-minute walk from the store to the car. It was shocking that she could come up with so many excuses for why she shouldn't go to jail. But the cops were at the receiving end of it, and as hard as it was to endure, they chose to remain unfazed. I'm gonna throw up! I'm gonna throw up! Please don't do sit. this! Please. Sit. Go back. Sit. Keep please. going in. Keep going in. I'm begging you. All the way in. Please. All the way in. I'm begging you. Please. All the way in. Oh my god, I'm begging you. you. Please. I can't. I'm gonna. Dude, I, am, I need my medication. I can't do this. I really can't breathe. I'm not joking. Why can't you breathe? I can't breathe because I'm having an anxiety attack. Okay. I'm not joking. Take a few you think I'm kidding? Take a few I'm not us. kidding. Please. Just breathe. I can't breathe. Okay. I can't. I'm not joking. Please help me. Please help me. Oh my God, I need my mom. I need my mom. Paula wanted several things, but only got what she deserved. She was arrested and charged with petit theft and resisting an officer without violence. The officers remained calm despite Paula's weird behavior, but that couldn't be said for the officers in the next case. And you start a supervisor for a taser. What the fuck is wrong with you? On November 19th, 2022, an officer at a Walmart in Florida was notified of a man who was seen touching himself inappropriately while following women around. Stunned by the report, the officer approached the man to trespass him from the property, but what happened next was even more shocking. Hey, yo, my man, come on, let's go. Come on. Get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Stand up. Stand up. Right there. Can you grab that, sir? Stop. 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 After running out from the store for touching himself in front of women, the man did a walk of shame in front of women back into the store for documentation. Because he attempted to escape, he was supervised by two female officers who were deeply disgusted by his actions but had a job to do. Can I get my phone, please? Sit down. Can I get my phone? Ah! What the fuck? I need some water. We're getting it for you, but I'm, calm down. Look at my Chill face out. My eyes. Please she can I get some never water? Ran. Please, can I get a cup of water right there? Please. Yeah, yeah. He's going to get it. Right there. You can't have what somebody else is. Please, I'm about to throw up. You're not. I'm about to throw up. I can't. Y'all gonna let me throw up. I'm not trying to fight. I'm not trying to fucking fight. Listen, Stop. You, Turn you need to stay. Water. You need to stay seated. I asked him to bring some water. Okay. Sit down. You're okay, making this work. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, all right, stop. No, we're not doing you it. stop. I'm not, ah, fighting. I'm not fighting. Can I take this shit off my... Can you get off my neck stop. on the street? You already got the stripes with me. I ain't got the picture. All right, man, I just want some water. We're getting it. Can I get that water right there? I'm about to... Please! You just want to go you throw up on us. Can I get some water, please? They're bringing the water. Damn, man. Stop pushing me. Stop moving. I'm not doing nothing. Stay seated. You've been too flimsy. You, you, you moving too much. All right, all right, all right. You pushing me on the floor. Be still. I'm not doing nothing. Damn, bro. Can I get some water? Hey, relax. Can I get some water? Relax. We 
You're not gonna get water if you're gonna protect this one. Chill the fuck out. Sit up. Own up to it. It's done with. Okay, can I get some water, please? Oh, you might have dropped this. Yeah. All of it. Yeah, I'm not I'm not to some too. But do what you're doing now. I'm not gonna that wrong. Liz, what the fuck? Because you told me. I'm not throwing shit out. You can't let me move around. You're fucking no, breaking my nail. Because you already stood up twice. What the fuck? Y'all breaking my nail with everything. Damn, relax. Bro. Oh my gosh. Look. Yeah, I'm trying to relax. Okay, so just sit up and relax. Okay. Don't Can I get some more water, please? Damn. Miss, seriously? Yeah. You get it, tell the suspect ordered the cops around with multiple requests, almost as if he forgot he was under arrest for touching himself in public. As hard as it was, the officers maintained professionalism and focused on meeting the suspect's needs as best as they could. His attitude was highly intolerable and nothing was too extreme for him, not even urinating in front of the cops. I need a bathroom, I'm gonna piss myself. I'm gonna piss. Y'all gonna be peeing myself? Now he's peeing in the corner? Y'all gonna be peeing in the corner myself? You can show me if it's on the Walmart if you don't leave. You shouldn't have to go that bad. You just said you, you have to pee, so you need to wait a minute, okay? You're gonna wait a minute. I'll be a peeing right now. That's what you decided to do. After his very unusual displays, the suspect was questioned about the allegations of touching himself, and he strongly denied them, even though he ran off from the police when confronted. He also refused to give correct identification for a background check. But when the cops got access to his criminal history through another means, they discovered something sinister. Indecent exposure, exposure of sexual organs before at a 24. 24? Thirty thirty five. Oh, aggravated battery on police officer. You like to fight police officers. And one. Aggravated fighter on firefighter. Oh, you like to fight. Why why should we cooperate with you? You still didn't give up your name. We had to go through all this extra trouble and I've already given you two bottles of water that you've had enough. The other one wasn't full. Okay, well, you know what? We're not required to, we don't have to give anybody any water. So you're lucky. He ha he's on probation. He got a 49 for VOP and more of the same. He got a history of 43 and 31 on Aaliyah resistant with. So, okay. The suspect was on probation after being arrested for publicly touching himself while following women. Even when caught for the same offense, the suspect remained deceptive to the cops and they were sickened by him. He was surrounded by the cops and taken to the squad car, but that wasn't going to stop him from doing something he was already known for. You got me fucked up. I got you. 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 You got the right one. I got you. You got the right fucking one. Are you gonna hop him? You gotta stop, man. You're making this worse. You're gonna stand up. Stand up. You gonna hold me by my feet? You yes. gonna stand up? Let, it, let his feet go. Stand up. Man. Stand up. Up, up, up. Get in the car. Yo, you come on. Bro, you're so extra. Sit up. Sit up. Ah, You're doing get it to out. your ass, man. Get up. You're doing it to yourself. Bro, y'all pushing up. me on the floor. Look at my knee. My knee is you. under the chair. Michael, get. My knee is under the chair. Look at me. Then move it for yourself. How can I move, bro? You know you can't move back move here. Move it. Move it. Move it. Stand up. Get it out. Oh Scoot gosh, it out. Man. Yo, Scoot it out. Me. Me. Scoot it out. You just pull me out, man. I'm getting a cramp. The suspect was charged with simple battery, lewd and lascivious behavior, resisting and giving a false name. But Robert's actions were weird enough to get him killed. What do you got there, bro? 
On April 11, 2021, an officer was in a Walmart control center when he saw a man later identified as Robert Banks take clothes from a rack and stuff them in his pants. The man then left the store and the officer followed after him, leading to one of the most confusing police chases. Come here, dude! Going all the way towards the front again. Towards the entrance exit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Drop and stop! The driver ran from the Walmart store and got into his car, but as basic as that sounded, it really wasn't. Robert's car was parked way other here, but he went straight down this path, took a left turn, went straight down, took another left turn, went straight down again, and took the final left turn into his car. He could have considerably cut down his getaway time by just going straight down this path, but he thought he could lose an officer in a parking lot. And as weird as that sounds, it was nothing compared to what he did when the cop opened his car door. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get out of the fucking sorry. car! I'm sorry. Get out of the car! I only got t-shirts, I only got t-shirts. I only throw t-shirts. I only throw t-shirts. Shut up. Give me the I'll fucking the keys. I only throw t-shirts. I only throw t-shirts. I only throw t-shirts. What do you got there, bro? Nothing. What do you got there? I only got t-shirts. I only got t-shirts. I only got t-shirts. Down on the ground. Down on the fucking ground. I only got t-shirts, officer. Down on the ground. I only got t-shirts. Down on the ground. Down on the ground. Get your hands on your fucking pockets. Down on the ground. Put your hand on the fucking ground. Look, officer. My ass is up. My ass is up. My ass is up. My ass is up. But turn over. My ass is up. Turn over. Turn over. I know you're behind me. Turn over. I'm sorry. Turn over. I just say the fuck. In under one minute. Robert repeated that he only stole t-shirts 23 times, said he was sorry eight times, and reached into his pocket five times even with a gun and taser pointed to his face. There were several ways the interaction with the officer could have ended very badly for him, but the officer managed to get the situation under control and put him in cuffs. During this time, Robert's frantic nature seemed to reduce, and he apparently realized that his actions were risky, but that really didn't change how weird his behavior was. I fucked up. Is he trying to get in this box? Yeah. He couldn't lock the door. I fucked up. I'll fit the wear. I fucked up. I fucked up. Alright, well, it's not the end of the wall, the wall. I did one set of mess my sneakers. I fucked up. I fucked up. Alright. I fucked up. Alright. I fucked up. So. I fucked up. I'm sorry. Take a seat. I just want to apologize. Hey, Banks. I didn't know what I was doing. You got to go back Finish with him real quick, and then I'll talk to you in a second, right? I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Actually, I'll finish with you now. I got nervous. So you can't start up. reaching in your hands, in your pockets like that. That's why I drew my gun out on you. Because if you pull a gun on me, I'm not. I'm not going. All right. I'm not gonna. I'm going home at night. Oh, you thought? Oh, yeah. You start reaching in your pockets oh, no. like that. Oh no! I'm sorry. So you know. Oh, Robert was later discovered to have been under the influence of drugs, and that explained his very frantic and strange demeanor. The stolen goods were worth $104, and Robert spent a few hours in detention before being released on a $2,500 bond for larceny and interfering with a police officer. If you liked this video, YouTube thinks you'll like these videos even more.